Hello everyone. Welcome to this video where we are going to discuss about a very important uh, SQL command. That is the command that we're going to use in order to delete entire tables. So the command that we are going to use here for deleting tables is called the drop table command. So let's see, first of all, let us use the, let us start the database. So let's use sample DB. Okay, next I have here all the tables out here and one table that I have here is called the dependence table. So this is the structure of the table. It has got these, uh, these columns, uh, ESSN, dependent name, sex, birth date, and relationship. So let us try to delete this table. So let's say we'll give this drop table command. Drop table. And we give the name of the table, dependent. Dependent. So drop table and the name of the command, a uh, name of the table. So let's execute this. So you can see, it executed successfully. So this dependent table is no longer existing. So we have deleted this. Let us try to de delete another table and see, okay? So I have the project table here. You can see project table has P number, P name, P location, and DNAM. Now, as you can see here, DNAM is a foreign key, all right? And uh, P number is the primary key. Okay, now if we look at uh, this particular table that we have works on, works on table, in the works on table, you can see it has got these columns, ESSN, PNO, and hours. So here you can see PNO here is the foreign key and it is referring to the project number, P number of the project table. Now, what we want to do is we want to delete the project table. So let us try to use the drop table command drop table command to drop try and drop the project table so drop table project let's try to execute this so here you get an error so what does it say it says cannot drop table project reference by a foreign key constraint fk6 on table works on so there is a foreign key called fk6 in the works on table so which is referring to the projects table so if i delete this table called project then that uh, constraint will become useless so we cannot uh, since al already it is referenced in the works on table so we cannot delete this particular project table so this is a point to remember that when you're trying to delete a table you can only delete a table which is not referred to by any other table, all right? So if it is referred to by some other table as a foreign, as it has its primary key is a foreign key, exists as a foreign key in some other table, then you will not be able to delete this table. The only thing that you can do is you can go to the, you can try removing the, the foreign key constraint if it has a name. If it has a name like here, you can see it, is, it has FK6 is the, foreign key so let us try to drop this foreign key and see drop alter table alter table uh, this is in works on table works on what we want to do drop constraint drop constraint what is the name of the constraint fk6 fk Six. This is, we get it from here, FK6. So let's see, alter table works on drop constraint, this. So you can see this has been deleted. This foreign key has been deleted. This uh, key, F FK6 foreign key has been deleted constraint. Now let us try to drop the project table and see. Okay, let's see if it is not referred to anywhere else, then we should be able to delete it. So yes, you can see successfully this table has been deleted. So a table can be deleted only if it is not referred to by some other table. So this is the very simple way of your simple command. That is your drop table command. 